moving. The scanners won't work. Will you? Yes. Can I help you? The Seoka Syndicate, of course. I'm surprised you haven't run into any of them. They're a group of organized criminals who use threats and violence to push their own agenda. And honest people like me tend to suffer the consequences. They're based out of Neon, but no one is certain who runs the Syndicate. Could be anyone. We sell only the finest goods for the discerning customer. Oh my goodness, that's such a relief. You have no idea. Thank you for accepting my offer. Headlock's quite a dangerous gentleman. I believe you can find him hanging out somewhere in Epside near Frankie's Grab and Go. No one knows. Seoka are sleek, well-dressed mobsters. They aren't low-life gang members. Why they choose to hang out at a run-down little convenience store like that is beyond me. You say that, but Seoka aren't exactly pushovers when it comes to this sort of thing. So you better watch your ass. Anyway... That's really all I know. Head back here when you've taken care of the situation. Good luck. I believe he's a newer member of Seoka. They pulled him up out of one of the street gangs that crawl through our sewers. If you are wondering how I know about that, he boasts about it every time he comes in here. He's quite a large gentleman. I believe you can find him roaming the street somewhere in Epside near Frankie's Grab and Go. Look, if he somehow disappeared, you'd be doing everyone in Neon a favor. No one would miss him, no one would care. Come back soon. You never know what we'll have for sale. If you need something fixed, put in an order with Central Services. Can I help you? You lost, kiddo? Sure, sure. I just don't get too many quality customers here. Most folks head over to Newell's or the Emporium if they've got the creds. I'd say less than half my customers are legit. The others are just kids up to no good. <laughs> Sounds like something a thief would say. I had some high hopes for this shop back when my husband and I opened it a while back. These days, if you ain't a regular, you're usually trouble. Car, something happened. Ain't that always the case? Let's just say those hopes died a long time ago, and there ain't no reviving them. Snacks, drinks, odds and ends, typical convenience store fare. Thought we'd snag a few of the Astro Lounge club goers who might want something to go on their way home. Turns out we were more appealing to the local gangs.
and live in a UC? No thanks. Besides, I ain't about to let a few undesirables chase me away from what I've built here. I may not be on the main strip, but I make enough to keep me afloat. Lucky for me, my regulars are a devoted crew. Mostly tied up in those good-for-nothing gangs. Those disciples and strikers always fighting over who gets to run the place. And not giving a damn over whose lives they ruin. Solomon thought a small convenience store with cheaper prices would make a killing. Of course, the only killing made was when he got himself shot in a robbery. Now it's just me running this place, so you can see why I'm not a huge fan of strangers in my shop. Never heard of him. Now, are you gonna buy something or just annoy me all day? How am I supposed to know where he is? That's probably true. You just won't give up, will you? Yeah, I know Headlock can't stand him. And I heard some of the other Sioka can't either. That boy doesn't know how to keep himself out of trouble. What'd he do this time? He's a customer. You're not here to interrogate me, so let's get back on track. You are so ignorant. They're not all bad apples like Headlock. In any case, if you're so desperate to find him, he and his friends are probably hanging out in Warehouse 4 or somewhere near there. I gotta ask, what are you gonna do with him? I have no affection for him whatsoever. He's a good-for-nothing thug and a boastful one at that. I wouldn't mind seeing him get smacked around and put in his place. But that doesn't mean I think he should be killed. Hm. You're every bit of thug that Headlock is. I'm done talking with you. You have your info, and I have a shop to run. So either beat it, or buy something. Just the usual. Until next time. Who the hell are you? And who do we have here? You here for business, or to get your head caved in? Is that so? I'm not just some low-life thug anymore. I'm with the Sioka now. You mess with me, you'll mess with the whole Syndicate, and that won't end well for you. Hm. The Ebside Strikers. I ran with them for a good long while, but then it just became embarrassing. I couldn't even feed myself when I was with them. I clawed myself out of the gutter, and Sioka took notice. My talents were being squandered with the Strikers. I was too good for them.
Well, it should. All I need to do is say the word, and my Sioka buddies will pay you a very unpleasant visit. So go on, Hotshot. Give me a reason why I should leave Tevin and his shitty little store alone. Go on, enlighten me. But don't waste my time. Jeez, just take it easy, will ya? It kills me to say this, but I see your point. Fine, we won't go around to the Emporium any longer. Whatever. Next time, I might not be so nice. Took guts to come in here and do what you just did. I have to admit that. We'll leave Tevin in his shop alone. gentleman oh my now that is a true relief i thought i would never be rid of him i'm not one to get involved with the rubble so i'm glad you came along when you did thank you for your help it was good to have you in the shop farewell look man have a heart. I can't pay right now, but I'll spot you next time, okay? You can just feel all that corporate bullshit oozing from this place. Ugh. There's always work to be done. That's Face what I yourself, was of. but make it I a just problem. hate accessing the You're content. interrupting me. Is this yes, time accounted for? I know what you mean, but that's your missing piece right there. All right, I'll get on it. We're on a strict schedule. I just want to make sure this impromptu meeting is properly tracked. I will take that as a no. It's not accounted for. If time is money, then suffice to say Ms. Serrano would not be pleased with such a frivolous expenditure. Ms. Yuko Serrano? Senior Operations Specialist at Ryujin Industries? 
She's one of the heads of the department you're standing in. No, I suppose she doesn't. And since you clearly have bandwidth to spare, maybe you can help me clean up a um, minor indiscretion. Contractually, yes, but I'd rather avoid the embarrassment. Normally, I do a good job of setting boundaries between work and life. This incident is... an exception. Good. Let me give you some background. Recently, I've been assisting the impoverished in both Ebside and the Underbelly. I pay for the occasional meal, clinic visit, or comfort. But I may have lost a slate in the process. I need you to locate and retrieve it for me. Pre-assignment intel for one of our operatives. The contents themselves aren't too sensitive, so... If you're thinking of betraying me, they aren't worth much as leverage. My sloppiness is simply an embarrassment that I'd like to correct. It's not a matter of trust, but one of time. I have little to spare. You do not. Then we have an agreement. Good. Go to the underbelly and talk to the panhandler, Huang. Discarded items are her specialty. So, she may have come across the slate herself. If you can manage to find it, bring it back to me, and I will pay you for the time. We'll each assign shifts to assist operatives, ensuring coverage at all hours. Personally, I like to keep my circadian rhythms intact, early to rise, early to bed, as nature intended. Hmm. Perhaps I can best explain with an analogy. There is an aquatic species on Voli Epsilon, which, by cruel irony or test of metal, hatches on dry land. Only one in ten thousand make it to adulthood. Most are eaten, some simply die in the crawl to the ocean. Meanwhile, there is a similar species that is born in the water itself. They never make this journey, and thus never know its hardship. Which begs the question, is that fair? I agree, which is why I choose to help those born into poverty. I know what you're thinking, and I am not what you'd call a bleeding heart. Moreover, I find the underbelly filthy and unsanitary. But I also believe in equity. I am well aware that my life came with a head start, so I try my best to balance the equation and bring the hatchlings to the water. The smells alone would back up your statement, and I do mean smells, plural. But as much as I dislike the underbelly, I will say this, it is a welcome change of pace. When you spend all day keeping secrets, a burden is placed on one's conscience. The time I spend volunteering sheds some of that weight. I'm not at liberty to say. I will remind you of another common phrase, loose lips sink ships. So. Be cautious around the office, and discuss intel at your peril. Goodbye.
Welcome to Chunks. Home of the best chunks. This shift doesn't end soon. My man is not gonna Hey be Chief, happy. you got any creds you can spare? I don't need a job. I've got my own business. Also, I just want to put it out there, Chief, but I'm not asking for a handout. I always do my best to return the favor. Streets honor. Think of it as an investment, not a donation. Presently, no. Pastly, no. Futurely? It's a work in progress. Depends on how this fiscal quarter goes. But it's gonna take a lot for me to upgrade. I found a primo spot next to the trawl store. I got a roof over my head and all the garbage I can eat. I can't eat everything they throw out, but I can eat enough. Oh, I totally did. Found it in the dumpster right next to a half-eaten chunk. And it was perfect timing, really. You see, the other day, the wind got a nasty cough and blew away all of my business spreadsheets. But that won't happen with this slate. It's like, wind resistant. I do. I write them on napkins you get from the eateries, and I use sauce packets for ink. It's not a perfect system, but it's pretty damn close. Hmm. That would mean I don't have to start over. All right, deal. I lost them near the employee break area. Look for any papers near the ground, the tables, maybe even the roof. You find all three spreadsheets, and I'll give you the slate. Got any spare creds? I can always take them off your hands. Thanks, Chief. You're a class bass. Wow, that's real class of you, Chief. A plus stuff. Now I can get my books sorted, executive style. As promised, you're slate. Tell your techie friend I didn't peek inside. And even if I did, I don't know what half of it says anyway.
next assignment can't start soon enough. As technicians, we handle prep and post-op work. Beginnings and ends, as it were. Well done. It seems assigning you to this task was time well spent. And as I said when we met, time is money. Hopefully these credits will serve as adequate compensation. Now if you'll excuse me, I have an operative to debrief. in the spaces. would be something new for a change. You can't even imagine how many people ask for an autograph or picture after we've been modding all night. It gets really annoying. Programming the beats? Turning the dials? Come on, stay with me here. Hey, I love my fans. I just don't like when they take things too far, you know? My music slate's gone, completely vanished. I had all of my new songs figured out on that thing, and someone ripped me off. Total drag. Oh yeah, absolutely. It allows me to step away from myself for a while and harmonize with the universe. There's music out there, you know, if you listen. The trick is not getting hooked on that feeling. I got close to that state a few times, but reality and responsibility has always managed to pull me back. I started playing music when I was ten, 
My father had an old electronic keyboard he passed down to me, and I fell in love with the thing. By the time I was 15, I got my first track and started club hopping. I was pretty young, but with my father as manager, he watched my back. Four years later, and here I am, booked into the hottest club in the settled systems. <laughs> pretty crazy. Hey there, what's up? Oh man, wow, that would be so cool. Yeah, please. I thought I sensed a decent aura around you when you walked up. Songs, lyrics, poems, all of my thoughts, basically. We're talking three years of stuff. It's not like I can just rewrite everything. Some of those moments of inspiration are long gone, out of my mind. That's why I write them down. The thing is, I perform here at the lounge every single night, which means I can't repeat the same set over and over. I have to keep it real. Exactly. So, anything you can do to help is appreciated. Oh, and if you're looking for a lead, talk to Micah. She works the bar at Euphorica, and she's a walking grapevine. Anyway, I got to figure out how I'm going to mod my next set. I'll see you around, okay? Hmm. Well, most of the people who come through here are fans. And they're either zoned or just digging the rhythms. That leaves collectors, competitors, or just a thief trying to make a cred. It could be anyone, really. People try to put a price on everything. Doesn't matter if it's music or the stars. If that price is big enough, you start attracting people with bad vibes and long knives. Only a matter of time before you get cut. So I'm safe. talk ready to relax welcome please make yourself comfortable i can offer you a drink or perhaps you're here seeking access to our members lounge where you can enjoy your aurora experience in peace Customers choose our lounge because they desire a more relaxed and sedate journey as they experience the joy of Aurora. We have no blaring music, no crowds, no chaos. The mood here is specifically crafted to allow a full range of mindful self-exploration. On the contrary, our members' lounge has been specifically tailored for that very task. It's a completely secure and monitored environment where you can enjoy your aurora without the fear of being disturbed, a rare commodity in Neon. If you desire access to the lounge, you can purchase admittance for a completely reasonable fee. Otherwise, you're welcome to relax, listen to our music, and perhaps enjoy a chimera. Not only will you be able to experience one of the most exclusive Aurora lounges in Neon, you also have access to our private bar. 
The bartender down there is a personal friend of mine, and he sells some rather unique items. It's a specialty alcoholic beverage only served here at Euphorica. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. A wise choice. Here's your access key. Please let us know if anything in the lounge interferes with your comfort. If you need anything else, please, don't hesitate to ask. Of course I recommend our house specialty, the Chimera. It's a unique triple layer drink that I believe you'll find quite delightful. It consists of mild cold soju on the top, a thin layer of fruit liqueur in the middle, and a strong dark soju at the bottom. The initial mildness of Chimera slowly warms the senses, which rapidly transitions into a sudden burst of sweetness from the fruit liqueur. This sweetness braces the palate for the impact of the much stronger, robust finish. It's a drink of my own design. I see. I'd be willing to divulge this information for the right price. When clients come to my bar, they expect a certain amount of discretion. Eroding their trust is not something I'm willing to do for free. Because when you work the bar, your clients tend to be more honest than they'd like to be. And besides, information isn't a drink that you can sample. Thank you for your business. The man you want goes by the name of Stratos. You'll find him at Madame Savage's. He's what you would call a fan of Miss Borealis's works. Or maybe fanatic is a more accurate term. Either way, he's the one you want. But you didn't hear it from me. He's one of the usual lowlifes you'll find at Madame Savage's. He's also a very fervent admirer of Miss Borealis and her work. It wouldn't surprise me if that admiration extended to her possessions. For fans like him, trinkets and mementos are a way to get closer to the one they admire. Fallen Stardust. Enjoy your stay. be making a fortune. over to Euphorica, but Borealis works with any means. <laughs> Mate, I love her music so much. I'm talking about Borealis, mate. I vibe with that bird hard. She's a beast on the beat, and I love her. Got a track in my head right now. Boom! 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 Yeah, you hear it? It's bloody mood, isn't it? I just need some more Aurora so I can get me head bobbing with the wave. Find that zone. I don't need a job. I got a whole career following the goddess of the Astro Lounge. 
I can't stand being away from that place. And, uh... But I can't listen to Borealis if I'm not zoning. That bird's song deserves the best eye Aurora can fly. Mate, there's no way in hell I'm giving you this. This slate brings me closer to her. As her biggest fan, I feel like I deserve to have it. I didn't steal anything. Borealis always says her music belongs to her fans. So I just took what was mine. I don't know. I think it is. I'm not giving up this slate. Why would I part with the one thing that connects me to her? Yeah, I, I do want what's best for her. I don't want that. She should know. I appreciate her. Right. She don't even know who I am. I'm keeping this late. Me and Borealis, we got a connection. I'm not letting you mess with that. Have you been to the Astral Lounge? Borealis freaking rock. It's the way she makes the Colors, dots. With most beats, you get these colorful flashes, and, and the world gets all wavy like. But Borealis makes the aurora dance like nothing I've ever seen. Her mods puts out a spectrum of colors that don't even exist. When she hits those high notes, and you're completely zoned, you don't just ride the wave, you steer it. So you get it then. Borealis's mods are an experience. Every note is like a set of hands lifting you up into the zone, real gentle luck. And when it peaks, it's like you reached a whole new state of being. Later. This song has got me so. Mate, there's no way in hell I'm giving you this. This slate brings me closer to her. As her biggest fan, I feel like I deserve to have it. Well, if you bloody had any, maybe we could talk. Sure. Hello. Maybe you'd like to try a Velocity. New customer. Bienvenue. Before you order, I have two simple rules you need to know. Oh, this is my place. That means everyone in here is under my protection. You don't mess with them, they don't mess with you. Blech. If you're buying drinks, you better have cash. Madame Sauvage does not offer credit. Good. Ça c'est bon? Oh, well, thank you very much for that compliment. I'm told my family tree traces itself back to Europe, on Earth. Specifically the region known as France. A long and proud history, no? Quel dommage. Then, I suppose you'll just have to find somewhere else to drink.
Tracker's alliance always finds it. You. Yeah, you. I could uh, really bend your ear when you got a moment. Micah knows how to make it ring. I hope Cor Stay out of trouble. Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. And what are we waiting for? Let's set you up. Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie, the Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it, can you really put a price on pleasure? Sure. Could I tempt you with some Aurora, perhaps? Hope to see you again. Careful if you run into those people. Could uh, really bend your ear when you got a moment. We love a jam, uh, A good song can play on repeat, mate. There's no way in hell I'm giving you this. This slate brings me closer to her. As her biggest fan, I feel like I deserve to have it. Bloody hell, is it that obvious? Damn ears have been ringing so loud, I can't even hear the beat anymore. Okay, you can have the slate. But next time I stop by, I want to hear a mod so sick it beats the piss out of my brain. Ooh, velocity's such a grab run.
I shouldn't be surprised. They can get pretty possessive. Doesn't matter if it's my things or my time. I get that. There's definitely a line you shouldn't cross. But sounds like it all worked out in the end. I've got my slate, which means the people will get their trip. Inspiration's like a wave. Sometimes it's hard to catch it before the break. That's what this slate is. A still wave. A feeling frozen in time. And I appreciate you bringing it back to me. Yeah, it looked like nothing was downloaded or tampered with. I'm almost glad it was taken by a fan instead of a competitor. Would have been awful to lose that thing. I was working on a brand new concept piece about floating into the center of existence. I'm not feeling it yet. I'm still working out the last few sections, but eventually I'll give the spin in the Astral Lounge. Thanks again for finding that thing. Next time, I'll try and keep an eye on it. See you on the flip. I'd, uh, I'd appreciate your advice. After our last talk, I, well, I just feel a little more at peace, a little more whole. Cora's grandpa, good old Jacob, well, he just will not stop pestering me to see Cora, and that's complicated. He is not my favorite topic of conversation. My early years, they uh, weren't good. My mother died when I was seven. Some people have such strong memories from their early life. Me, I mean, I remember her. I have some pictures. I remember the feelings, but just a few clear memories. She banged up her knee real good in an accident. So she went in for knee replacement. It's supposed to be routine, but that damn anesthesiologist dropped the ball. And one day mom's fine. And the next, doctors take her away. Oh, it's all right. It's ancient history. So, Jacob raised me on his own, and... Shit, maybe I don't give him enough credit. I mean, I know how tough it is, but he was strict, hard. Dad was a longtime civil servant, a big man in governments, and he had a future all laid out for me. Man, could he get his hooks into you. He was scary good at that. At his height, he was some sort of trade minister. A very prominent man in Aquila City. And after I came along, he stepped down to a lower posting. He still had a finger in trade all over the collective. I can't deny it. He sacrificed a lot to be closer to Mom and me. <sighs> Maybe. But it was tough to live up to his exacting expectations. But I tried. I felt the weight of legacy. I wanted to do him proud. He said I had to learn the business, run some freight, see how credits flow, speak the language. Meanwhile, he's working some angle for a government job for me after. That sounded even more miserable than what I was doing. I know, right? Even after I was with the Rangers, Dad was just always needling, angling for me to join the government. But by then I knew myself more, and I could stand up to him. And Lillian, well, she helped. If I let Jacob into Cora's life, he'll dream up some big future for her and tie her into knots like he did with me. A man could teach a master class in manipulation. So, set up some ground rules, like you said I should do with Lillian. 
Ah, oh, I don't think it would work. But it might be worth trying. I guess I got more to think about. for a cup of coffee. Than a drink? Start with a drink, perhaps? Enjoy the lounge. to be an actuary.
I'm not going to show up to work for a week. Then my boss will say, Some find Aurora heightens the senses. I prefer to sharpen them. It's the world's most exotic accident. They found the drug in the fish oil of all things. But oil is an old story, one of grease and flame. The grease turns the wheels of commerce and the flame attracts the moths. So be careful walking these streets, my delicate little insect. Venture too close and you'll burn your wings. I'm in town for business. My client leaves a mess, I clean it up. I'm an independent contractor, working for some very wealthy clients. They open deals, I close them. There might be. I originally came here to complete a business deal, but the client, in a fit of foolishness, decided to close on their own. Rather than dispose of the evidence properly, they left it in a warehouse. Real amateur stuff. So there are some loose ends that need tying, and I prefer a third party handle it. Would you be interested? It's a simple job. I need you to pick something up and sell it. Giving you any more information would be unwise. I'm giving you half of my usual fee, which, according to my clients, is a ransom three times over. But I'm worth every cred. You'll find the merchandise in a locker in the warehouse behind Neon Tactical. Gangs in Ebside often use that area to peddle their sunshine and lollipops. So if shit's pakaru, you'll have to improvise. Once you secure the merchandise, sell it to Coleman Lang at the Trade Authority, so it's part of their regular inventory. Return here when the job is done. I'm not a fan of this kind of music, but the noise provides an like a bad idea to me. Neon security. Move out of the way.
This better be good. Yeah? What? You need to move some merch. This is the place. Hey, I'm not here to rattle any cages. We get along just fine. As long as I stay out of their business, they stay out of mine. On the rare occasion that I've run into something that's red hot, Ranger Price swings by as a follow-up. We put our heads together and figure it out. It's never really been a problem. You can ask him if you like. Hmm. Not a bad gun. Good balance. Weight. Allied Armaments is a UC company, but their stuff is military grade. But that is not the issue here. That gun is hotter than a frying pan full of fish grease. I'm not giving you anywhere near market rate. Pleasure doing business with you. Then here I thought you were just wasting my time. Then my client can finally relax. He's a very tense man, you see. Tried to smile once, years ago, and didn't like the fit. But I digress. Here's your payment, as promised. Enjoy the rest of your time here in Neon. Yes, but I never work with the same client twice. Call it a personal rule. Always a pleasure. be a prime target for pirates. It may be paradise, but that doesn't mean we don't run into trouble from time to time. Don't worry about us. We're just here to keep the peace. Staying safe out there. That's lovely here. I 
hope your stay here is going well. Expensive than I expected. I promise. When we're done with you, you will be able to. Yet another nice day in Paradise. my pleasure to make sure I feel my bank account getting drained just standing here how much is it for a night no don't tell me not to be a downer but this place is almost too perfect right? no one's going to care if I call out sick from work need something I don't think any place could be more perfect Have a great day.